I was at Walmart today and saw this uh, Ghostbusters Abby Yates figure on uh, clearance aisle for three dollars. So I decided to go ahead and pick her up, add to my Ghostbusters collection. <clears throat> uh, the package is a little beat up, uh, but it's not bad. Uh, she comes with the arms for Rowan for the collect and connect. Right here. Um, right now, Julian Holtzman is the hardest of the 2016 Ghostbusters to find. Uh, before the movie came out, uh, you could find all of them, no problem. I even thought about getting Julian Holtzman or Jillian Holtzman uh, a few times that I saw her, but decided to wait until the movie came out. And after the movie came out, she was nowhere to be found. So got the Ghostbusters logo here uh, same type of blister pack as the uh, Ghostbusters classics figures from Walmart um, got her Abby Yates Ghostbusters logo uh, with their um, fluorescent uh, high visibility uh, strip here cool let's see you can get um, Aaron Gilbert uh, who comes with Rowan's legs, uh, Jillian Holtzman, which comes with his bot, his torso, and then Patty Tolman, which comes with his head. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and break this open, uh, check it out for a little bit, and I'll be back with my review. As you can see, taking it out, it does come with the slime background. I guess you could keep if you wanted to have it as your background. Um, I'm just going to throw this away. I, I don't really have a point in it. So. Alright guys, welcome back. I'm here reviewing Abby Yates. I've got her out of the package. And not too bad of a figure. I've got my other four Ghostbusters out here uh, from the Classics line. Uh, you can't see them. They're kind of off screen right now. Uh, but I will compare Abby with the other four guys. Uh, at the end of this video right now what I can see is the detail is really good on this they've got the very rustic look on the proton packs and blaster uh, very very detailed so he's got four cargo pockets on her pant legs and one underneath her name plaque on her chest. The detail in her hair is very good. As you can see, she's kind of got it up in a ponytail. The glasses, just like with the Egon figure, they do not come off. Um, I guess you could take them off if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be able to get them back on. It is very flimsy plastic that's just glued on there. Uh, you can see her eyes through the uh, frames of the uh, glasses. Uh, looks like she's got a little bit of pink lipstick on. Her head does turn from right to left. A little bit hindered uh, by the collar of her uniform. So it doesn't rotate all the way around like you saw in the movie. Her arms. She does have a rocker joint or ball joint at her shoulders. Moves up and down, front to back. And then sides and then there is another joint ball joint at the elbow you can spin her arm all the way around with just a standard pin joint not a ratchet joint just a pin joint at her elbow and then you can turn her hand all the way around And that's with both arms there is a some waist rotation uh, she can go completely around her legs do go all the way out she has 
turning at her hips. There is no joint at the boot line. Uh, there's a rocker at the ankle, but no swivel. Uh, you can take the proton pack off. As John showed you guys in the original, uh, or the classics Ghostbusters toys, comes off the same way. Uh, you just got to finagle it a little bit. Uh, just take it gently because the straps to the proton pack are a very soft plastic. So you can see it's very flimsy. Could possibly tear very easily. Uh, it looks like there should be a place to store. There, there we go. Yep. So the proton wand does actually attach. You can see there's a little peg here and a little hole on the back side here. It just slides right in there. And then I'll show you a little bit of the quality of that. Not too bad. And as I said before, she does come with Rowan's arms. There is articulation at the wrists. And of course, there will be articulation at the shoulders for whenever they're connected. So let me go ahead and put this pack back on her. And I will compare her with the original Ghostbusters. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, I was filming from my laptop. I've turned it around to film with my phone now. She matches up pretty good with the other four guys. As you can see, we have Winston, Venkman, Spangler, and Ray. And now we have Abby Yates. She is a little bit shorter, but I would expect that since, you know, the girls are a little, usually a little bit shorter. Uh, she is, appears, she might be just a hair shorter than Venkman from the top of her ponytail. Um, as you can see, her glasses, just like Egon's. Are see are you can see her eyes through them and of course if you like this video make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the like comment below and share with your friends <laughs> I hate you